Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim. I created this gaming review of RTX 3090 Founders Edition by condensing all the important information an average gamer should care about to save you a lot of time. If you want a more technical review, I recommend watching Gamers Nexus or Hardware Unboxed. Their videos are very good. With that said, let's get started. In games that can push graphics card to the maximum, stock RTX 3090 consumes 358 watts and 409 watts when overclocked. After one hour of gaming, the card was running very quiet and temperature was floating at around 66 degrees. So yeah, the massive cooler on 3090 is doing its job well. On to the gaming benchmarks. Let's start with talking about the average performance increase. At 1440p resolution, 3090 is 8% better versus 3080 and 32% versus 2080 Ti. At 4K resolution, 3090 scales a bit better. FPS is 11% better versus 3080 and 45% versus 2080 Ti. Next up is FPS at 8K resolution. Gamers Nexus ran tests in several games at native 8K. It is old gen console level FPS performance with bad lows. So, one RTX 3090 is not enough to play at native 8K. It is currently unknown how good the SLI scaling is. Now let's run the benchmarks while I share my final thoughts. RTX 3090 is a true Titan replacement. So, while you do get more FPS in games, it comes at a very high premium that is hard to justify when you look at how close the 3080 is to the 3090 in terms of performance. That is all I have to say about it. I'd love to hear what you think. I'll be waiting in the comments below. And while you're there, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Click on the bell icon to turn on the notifications. Also follow me on Twitter at iVadimTech to see even more content. It was I, Vadim, thank you for watching, enjoy the rest of the benchmarks.